My name is Ernie Whitaker. My pronouns are I, me, he, him, she, her, we, they, us. Sometimes I even use Shakespearean pronouns, which are thee, thou, thy, thyself, and ye. I'm transgender, non-binary, gender conforming, gender fluid, just to name a few. As you all know, <laughs> there is no end to it, right? There is no limit. So you can identify as whatever. Sign of a failing society. With a laughing stock to everybody else around the world. Go to one any country, especially go to a third world country and ask them like, about all this nonsense. And they, they gonna think you're talking they're gonna think you're crazy. But that's the state we are in right now. The crazy state. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's funny. The trans movement is the fastest growing movement out there, so I figured, why not get involved in the ground level and use it to my advantage? For instance, whenever I'm late to work, which happens a lot, I'm not gonna lie, I just self-identify as translate. Not translate like the language translate, but... <laughs> I saw the video one time where a guy was trying to get into a premises with a camera, and then the, this lady came over and like, oh, you can't bring a camera here. Oh, she can't record. You can't be recording here. Then the guy was like, uh, that's not a girl. She identifies as a camera. And the woman was like, you identify as a camera? She's like, yes. Like, oh, okay, then. I was like, what? <laughs> what? This is mad. You guys know what I'm talking about. That's someone who's late but identifies as being on time. I thought of that one myself. I'm not going to lie. It is uh, challenging having somebody like Ernie in the office. Uh, but due to diversity requirements, uh, we have to have he, him, she, her, we, they. Don't forget about us. Sorry. Okay. And us. In the office. It's go time. I'm also a transplant. That's where I identify as a tree. It's very liberating because I get to be outside, which I love, but it does backfire sometimes. After lunch, I identify as transabled. That's someone who identifies as being handicapped. I do this purely to get out of working a few hours of the day. Ernie. Huh? Uh, over here, Ernie. Yes. Hey, you know you're not blind, right? I know, dude, but can you not? I don't want they. Shut up. I don't want them to know. Relax. Later in the day, I identify as transracial and become a black dude from Brooklyn. <laughs> My name is Tyrone. <laughs> Why from Brooklyn? <laughs> <laughs> this be a black dude that didn't find a black dude. That should be a black dude specifically from Brooklyn. My name is Tyrone, uh, but my boys call me Tyreezy. You feel me? Brooklyn, stand up. Sarah, want to do lunch? Shut up, white boy. I'm trying to shoot. <laughs> this guy is hey. a clown. Yo. This guy is a clown. Hey. Hey. Yo, 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 if you step to me, dog, I have to pull the trigger. Don't let the baby chase fool you. I'm a real ass n***a. <laughs> I'm also transparent. Uh, that's identifying as not being present. I do this to get myself out of sticky situations just like this. And lastly, I like to identify as a transformer. I'm more than meets the eye. I'm just joking about a transformer. Help me! Ah! That is funny as hell. That is very funny. Where does it where does it end? Where does it end, yo? Harrison looks from the outside to be your average teenager. He goes to school, plays video games, even listens to music in his room. But there's one difference. I'm a 35-year-old white man. <laughs> a joke is this a joke that's it now you can't tell what's a parody from reality because the reality is a joke so how can you tell who's joking and who's actually real I can, you can't tell 
born Antoine Smalls, has transracial identity, identifying as Harrison Booth, a 35-year-old white man from Colorado. And when did you know that you were a 35-year-old white man? Well, I've always felt different. Uh, I go to the store, the movies, and just be thinking to myself, like, why am I not getting the respect I deserve? Mm -hmm. And then it just hit me. I'm white and 35. <laughs> This is madness, yo. This woman started it. This I don't know if you guys remember this Rachel Dolezal woman. A white German woman. Of German descent, I think. And all she did was tan her skin, braided her hair, and join the double NCP or double ACP, whatever is that shitty organization. It's going double ACP. And she shot herself to the top of blackness, became the president of the organization. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <sighs> what you are essentially saying is that you can change your race and you can't change your race i'm korean people need to accept that tell me how you racially identify i identify as korean i used to live in korea i was living there for one year i love the culture i love the history the people you know i put myself through a lot if you identify as a an alien with that face fucked your face over plastic surgery you look ridiculous with pain i've had a lot of surgical procedures to have more of a korean aesthetic i spend a lot of time learning the language learning how you look nothing like like a korean person look as much as a korean as she looks uh chinese to cook korean foods i came out earlier this year showing that with the world people didn't really get it not everybody will understand straight away but i hope over time people will be kind of more accepting with you see what i'm talking about not being able to distinguish between a joke a skit from reality no more i think this one here is serious i don't know if the black guy was serious about being white and the other guy previously that was just a joke but this one here i can't tell i think this one is actually got that mental illness me. Transracial does not exist and I think it is very very harmful for us to push the narrative. Well, why would you say it doesn't exist? Everything else exists. You can identify as a Ferris wheel. That exists. You can identify as being disabled. So why can't you identify as being of a different race? Come on, you, you guys just... You've started, you, you've opened the can of worms now. You, you, of course you can identify as whatever you want now. If a 50 year old man can identify as a newborn baby, why can't a white person identify as a Korean? Why can't a Chinese person identify as a black person? You see what, you see what I'm saying? If you continue like this, you're not going to have any society left in the next 50, 60 years. Wait, you know what and I'm I want to add to that one thing too is in, in a sense, like <clears throat> that we, within the, that time period, we've lost our identification amongst these certain, you know, from, you know, many different tribes and stuff from Africa during the whole slavery. I'm sure you know about slavery. So mm -hmm. like now identifying ourselves as black is just simply saying we're, you know, being born black and saying that we're black. So my thing is, how can you, how could you feel like you identify with that? If you know, just by changing the color of your skin, that's what I don't understand. <laughs> I didn't mean to pause it there. What, the what? Oh, man. What? She looks like someone from a horror movie. What are those tits? Look at that. She pumped them up and everything. What she do to her skin? Oh, man. I need to Google this woman. She, is, she looks all sort of crazy. Well, I was going to say, the whole black thing, black this, black that, in some parts of the world, if you, as a, as a black American... Yeah, you know, if you go to some parts of Africa, or some other parts of the world, or the other black people, you'd be like, "Well, we're all black people. We're all one. We're all these." They're gonna look at you like you're crazy because even the Africans don't see themselves as all one because tribalism has fucked us up over there. So, this person from this tribe is beefing with that person from that tribe. So, if you go and you introduce yourself to a black person in Africa, one of the first things they'll ask you is, "What's your tribe?" You know, so a lot of black Americans get a reality check when they go to Africa to visit and they ask them, yo, 
Mochi tribe. And like, um, I'm from Missouri or something. I'm from Connecticut. I'm just black. They're like, oh, okay. So that way, a lot of them look at you like you don't belong. You know, no, 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 no. I'm saying like, like you don't know yourself, kind of. So it's really, really tricky, especially like identifying as black people is very, very tricky because black people are very, very, very tribalistic. Just want to show you um, one example. Also, mostly the problems are from the situation. Also, for example, we have been in the US mm -hmm. in the evening. How did she get her skin looking so shiny? So very chocolatey. You can tell she's a white woman, but how did she get that skin looking so crisp? There was a park with also... My skin is not even that smooth. Why is just just looking? Skin is glowing. Policeman. Yeah. There was different cars. Also, Michael and me. Oh, uh, white um white uh, white teams with with dog. A uh, white pair um white pair also man and girl with also. Uh, I think she's German. She's finding hard to speak English. I'm gonna Google this one and see. Yeah. So, her name is Mar Martina Big. I think she probably was an expiring porn star or something with the, with the whole big Pamela Anderson tits. But she said she's always felt like she was black. I don't know how you feel like something you've never been you've never been before. Like, I can feel like having strawberry ice cream because I've had strawberry ice cream before. I know what it feels like. So I'm like, oh, I feel like having strawberry ice cream. I'm craving strawberry ice cream. Before. You can't say oh, I identify as a man when you're a woman. I, you've never been a man before. How do you know? How you, how do you know you're missing something? Treat gender dysphoria. So I'm trying to make money out of it. It's a multi-billion dollar industry. So of course they're going to keep encouraging mental illness. But she's with the Maasai tribe. <laughs> it looks ridiculous with those tits. She's with the Maasai tribe. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening ah i gotta go guys i've had enough of this i gotta go i'll see y'all later man